Hey guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. So I've not done a YouTube video in a while, so please bear with me on this one, it could be a bit rusty. Essentially, this first video is going to be a remake on my old school video on how to stream with OBS. So this video is a little bit outdated, it's three years outdated, the, the audio, listen to the audio yeah, quality. 1400. Oh, stop it, that's horrible. Uh, and OBS has been updated now, we use OBS uh, Studio, and this is the old school OBS, so quite a bit has actually changed. So I thought it was only right to make an updated video. So the first thing you want to do is actually get OBS, and I have a pretty nice little link. Okay, bam, there we go. Bam, there we go. Nice and ready. So, you want to download for Windows just by clicking it. And you don't care about the gosh, no, just download for Windows. Okay, once you've got that, you want to open it. Give it a second. And you're going to get something like this. And the first thing you want to do is you want to click Settings. This essentially is just user preferences, stuff like uh, themes. You can go dark if you want. You know, I prefer I prefer a default. I don't know, I'm weird. Okay, see what I mean. Next up is stream settings. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you stream to Twitch, unless you're a YouTube streamer. <laughs> you want to stream to Twitch, uh, and you want to go server. I always go for auto recommended. You could go for your local server. For me, that'd be what EU lit London. Uh, I Honestly, Twitch does it automatically for me at this point, so I'm going to go ahead with that. So, you want next thing you want to do is your stream key, which you can find an updated place from the old video, is this place. So, you want to go to twitch.tv slash username slash dashboard slash settings. And it's going to be the first one called stream key. You want to copy that. Don't show it to anyone, because if you do, look at it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. people can stream to your channel. That is not what you want. So, make sure you keep it hidden. Make sure you post it in, and bam, you can hit apply. Essentially, you can start streaming from here. I mean, you won't have anything to stream, but you could stream. Hmm. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the output tab, and this is where you see video bitrate. So this is based on your upload speed. So you want to go to a, like a speed testing website, like speedtest.net, for example, and check your upload speed. So for me personally, I'm on 10 uploads. So I choose to stream in 2.5 upload, 2,500 megabits from whatever 2500 bit rate essentially 2.5 upload uh, which gives me enough enough space to not throttle my internet uh, uh, while I'm streaming it provides good quality for 720p streaming which is perfect for RuneScape in my opinion um, so I'm gonna go for that I would suggest you would look up your own speeds on speedtest.net so let's say you have five upload I would play around about one to two get in that nice area so you don't get capped on the internet you don't get lag but you get nice nice quality second up the encoder section this is quite important so essentially if you have a bad CPU software is probably Probably not the best for you. If you have a good GPU, you might have hardware available. AMD and Intel both have them. So if you want to do hardware, this is basically going to encode off your GPU. And because RuneScape doesn't use a GPU, this is perfect because it leaves the CPU free to open up your other tabs, maybe your music or your whatever page, <laughs> and RuneScape essentially. But because I have a better CPU, I'm going to go with software. So if you want software, you're going to click Enable Advanced Encoder Settings, which is going to be off. And essentially, the encoder preset, the faster it is, the worse quality it will be. However, it will have a lot less stress on your CPU. So if you have a mid-range computer, I would go with faster. That's going to provide pretty decent quality and not ruin your CPU. If you have a B CPU, slower is going to provide the best quality, but the most strain on the computer. And also faster if you have a potato PC and you just want to stream. And that can work too. But for the I'm going to go faster for this. I'm going to hit apply for that to make sure that's all saved. And now this is a bit extra stuff. So we're going to go to audio. I don't really mess with any of this in my opinion. This is probably... I don't, it's just not needed in my opinion. 44 is fine. Channel stereo. That's fine. All the defaults are fine. However, if you want to use push to talk or push to mute in this. Push to mute. You can do push to mute. That's an interesting one. You can push to mute or push to talk uh, through this menu. You can do that. Desktop, desktop audio. Exactly the same. So for video, this is quite interesting. Base canvas, I always do 1080p, so 1920 by 720p. However, for the output, scale, this will downscale to 720p, essentially. Okay, look at this, I'm going to pull it to the screen. This is your RuneScape client. Notice the size about the screen? Yeah. You don't need 1080 you do not need 1080p for such a small game. Unless you do resizable, which I guess you could do 1080p then. But I'm going to do fixed for this video. I'll show you resizable as well, but I play on fixed as a PKer. Uh, okay, so moving on. Going to do hotkeys again. You can you can set up your own hotkeys. These are just user preferences. I never use hotkeys to stream. Start stream and stop streaming. What are you gonna even set that to? F11 and F12. It doesn't make sense to me when you can just click this button right here. Start streaming. Interesting. So advanced again. I don't really mess with any of this. This process priority. I mean, you could go high priority if you have a if you have a bad processor but because you're using the processor to stream does it make much sense to have high priority for the actual program without streaming it just i don't know it blown mind blown so i just press normal on that be honest i've never around, messed around with these um, renderers direct 3d 11 i don't know color format kind of out of my uh yeah 
Knowledge. I, I never touch any of this. It's done me fine. So we're going to leave it there. I'm not going to mess with any of them. You can. <laughs> Good luck. I'm scared. So you're going to hit apply on that again if you haven't. And then you'll click OK. So now, I'm actually ready. I can press start streaming. I can go live my channel right now. However, there's one problem. There's nothing to stream. Hmm. We need to sort that out. But first, let's check out the desktop audio settings. So you want, if you want to use a mic, you essentially want to make sure you, write, you click this cog click properties and select your mic. So for me I use a program called Voice Meter. So this is the right one for me. You might want to use the fault or maybe a different mic setting. Just the mic you use basically. Bam. So now you can see when I'm talking in this video, desktop audio going sick mate. Going sick mate. So that so now I know it's capturing my voice. Beautiful. Let's start recording RuneScape. So you want to right click this. Sorry, let, let me go through that again a bit slow. Right click add. You just call this RuneScape, or you can call it whatever you want to be honest. I'm going to call it RuneScape 77. And then for sources, right click, add, window capture. And you can call this whatever you want. You can probably call it something sensitive, sensible, sensitive, Jesus Christ. But I'm going to call it RuneScape 55 because I like RuneScape 55. And it is now recording my recorder, recording this recording. That's some sort of recorded inception right there. I love it, mate. Uh, but no, you got, once this window pops up, no matter what's displayed or what's in, on here to the window, you want to go down. And find the client. <gasps> Explorer, no, no, don't get confused, Ben. Also, don't leak your Skype, Ben. Jesus Christ, gonna have to set that up in the editing. Um, okay, so basically, you want to check the um, client you're using. No, sorry, the client you're using to play Old School RuneScape. So for me, it's Conduit. There we go. You can always have match title, otherwise find window of same type. That essentially means if, if the game crashes, it's going to try and find another window. But I always put Windows title must match, which means you're not accidentally going to leak anything like I just tried with my Skype, which I have opened for some reason. Bad Ben. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so anyways, once you're done with this, you can capture your cursor or not. I prefer to capture the cursor. Capture the cursor. Why not, right? That's just the best way to do it. Now, on the old, uh, back in the day when I did the first cl the first video, a lot of people got str struggle with this part. And you sometimes see people streaming like this. <laughs> like that. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You just can't really watch a stream like that. And honestly, a lot of people can't. So we're going to hold to fix this straight away. So normally, shift drag will unlock the aspect ratio. But what I like to do is to shift drag it a bit smaller, hold alt and drag inwards and that's going to crop the client. So you can crop all the extras. So straight away this is going to look so much tidier. You're going to drag it to the top and then holding shift like we talked to like we talked about a minute ago, drag it to each side and that is going to unlock the the uh, the ratio and make it go full screen. So let's just log in real quick. See what it looks like on stream. Give it a second. Beautiful. So now we have an actually decent looking preview for the uh, for the RuneScape client. That's really nice. Hell yeah. So you're actually one step closer to going live. But maybe you need to go AFK for a second. You may need to go toilet, grab a drink. You might need to log back in, hide a bank pin. There's a lot. So right click, set, add another title. So I'm going to call this AFK for this is my AFK screen. For sources, you're going to right click, add. Let's add an image. Why not? We're going to call this yes. Hmm. You click OK on that. So now you want to find an image for uh, your AFK screen. You can add any image. This is where you could get a graphics designer to do something really nice. But for me, do you know what I think we're gonna do? Honestly, hmm. Let's add a dog. Yes. <laughs> that is a cool ass looking dog. So again, you're just gonna you're gonna shift drag it in place so you can make it smaller. But I'm gonna make it full screen. Uh, and then you can also add text. You're gonna right click the source, add text and I'm gonna call this I don't know what, what should I call it yeah why not I'm gonna just put in dog mm, dog uh, so once you got your text just drag it out as usual pretty much everything in OBS is dragging in and dragging out so that is our professional AFK screen well played but what if you want a stream starting screen again right click add right click add and I'm gonna do another image why not right why not so we're going to do browse, and I'm going to find myself a pigeon. Hmm, not bad. So a lot of times, based on the image size, you're going to see it zoomed in. Don't panic. Just again, as usual, shift, drag in. Make sure, shift, drag in. Grab it to the top. Make it go full screen. Beautiful. Um, so, so can we get rid of the default tab that automatically comes with a fresh install? And we're going to want to move this. Uh, if we can find it, hold on, order, move down. 
And this, oh my god, this I'm not, I'm not doing very well, am I? There we go. Beautiful. One more time. Hold on. I mean, this, this is this is just this is just being like a bit, you know, crazy. <laughs> but I want my my screen to be in the middle. So screen one is the welcome screen. Welcome to the live stream, guys. How you all doing? How you all doing? And then you're gonna go bam, RuneScape. What? And then if you need to go AFK, easy peasy. Uh, I'm gonna do one more for the intro. We're gonna say we're gonna call it bye because this is gonna be a goodbye screen. And what we're gonna add to this is another image. Mm, nice. Uh, I'm going to go to the desktop, click browse again, we're going to add a spade, yes we are. So again, shift drag, and there we go. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the startings of, oh no, oh no, oh no. I need to, shh, can't see, there we go. Perfect, there we go. Now that's how you live stream. <laughs> Damn it, it's off a little bit. Okay, so I'm not going to make it perfect for this video, uh, but you get the gist of it, right? This is how you start. So you lock these now, so you can't accidentally edit them. Make sure you lock it all. Lock, lock, and lock. So now you're going to start the stream. When you're ready to stream, you're ready to play RuneScape. You need to go AFK, you're AFK. When you're done, goodbye. <laughs> that, that's pretty much how you start the stream. And obviously, I'm, I'm joking a little bit with the images. Do you know what I mean? A little bit of banner. Why not, right? Why not, why not, why not, why not? Um, but essentially, that's what you do. I mean, the next video, we're going to go over stuff called from Stream Elements, which I'll show you a little bit in the next clip. Right, welcome back, guys. Okay, so I've actually loaded in my settings that I use for OBS, and I'm going to go through a little things, a little few advanced things, not in this video, but I want to show you what you can do. So, essentially, like the... Uh, what did I use? I think it was a pigeon for the welcome screen in the intro. This is my intro, so it's a little bit more advanced. So we've got a little bit of anim little bit of animations going. I also have a second part where you do a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, a little bit of a zoom in. So you can actually do multiple sources for an introduction. Um, essentially, when I'm done, I can hide that and it's and it shows this again. So this is my intro for the stream, and then you just got the RuneScape client with. An overlay. Uh, now with these overlays, you actually create them through something called stream elements. When I want to do a separate video, because this video is way too long already, this might, that might be like a 20 minute video because there's so much you can do in stream elements. You can set your own shops up, you can make your own currency on the stream, you can do your own overlays. There's so much you can do real time updates for followers, subscribers, donators, bit giverers, or as there is. Stream elements is amazing, in my opinion. It's an all in one program, but we're going to do that separate. That's why it's not in this video. Moving on, so my BRB screen is very simple and honest. It's just it's just a little bit animated, but it's probably better than a dog. <laughs> uh, so something I like to do, uh, I don't I don't know how popular this is, but if I if I want to go AFK for like two minutes, if I need to go for a quick piss or maybe grab a drink, I don't want people to stare at this screen for more than thirty seconds, right? And I don't want people to stare at this screen and watch me log out. So I like to do break plus two two minutes plus and essentially this is a plugin for vlc and just some text that says currently afk so enjoy the video but with this i know i can choose any video i like when i'm going afk and stream it that's so loud jesus that is loud i'm sorry guys Whew. And, and stream it to everyone watching this is actually voltigo 3 versus 1 this is one of the best clips in history okay in history I could watch this all day, but for the sake of video, I'm going to go ahead and pause that there. Um, and the final one is stream ending. Again, just some simple little edits. But I think, in my opinion, I think it looks nice. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that wraps up the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy the first video back. Expect more. If you enjoyed it, maybe hit the subscribe button. If not, tell me to fuck off. See you later now. Bye-bye.